so today's video is going to be my April favorites. I want to show you some of the stuff I have been loving in the month of April. I don't have a lot of makeup to talk about, but I did throw in some lifestyle favorites in today's video as well. We're spicing things up this month because, you know, life is different now. Life is different. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. I'm literally constantly testing makeup products for my house, to wear in my house. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I was home a lot before. A lot. But now I'm never out. I have a girls night with my three besties once a month and that's it. But that is never gonna stop me from looking fabulous in my backyard. So let's talk about that. So I have been very vocal about how obsessed I am with cream blush, especially this time of year. I love wearing cream blush in the spring and summer. That's a lie, I like wearing cream brush. <laughs> cream brush. Blush. I love wearing it all year round, especially since I have dry skin. Cream blush always just looks so much better than regular blush. And I feel like recently so many brands have come out with cream blush. I have been testing out and using a ton of different brands. And I have been loving these from Milk Cosmetics. These are their cream blush lights, which is pretty much like a highlighting blush. And I have these two shades right here. I have Honey Thief and Golden Hour. Golden Hour is my favorite. And this one definitely does feel like a blush light because it is a very very glowy cream blush like there really isn't any glitter in it per se it's just very 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 fine shimmer it just seems like an overall very glowy highlighting blush and it just makes your cheeks really really glow but this one in honey thief this one actually doesn't have any shimmer to it so I wouldn't even consider this one a blush light I would consider it just a cream blush but I think overall these melt blushes are just very glowy and just really beautiful very juicy very dewy looking so I guess that can also be like a blush light because there's just so much dew and shine so incredibly beautiful I have been loving these so much my favorite thing about them is that they are incredibly pigmented you don't have to build this up that much I only dip my brush into these like two or three times and I feel like I get enough pigment on my cheeks like I get enough color and it doesn't look like it's too much some cream blushes that are dewy like this have like barely any pigment so you have to really build them up and by the time you do get any color on your cheeks your whole cheek looks extremely greasy and wet because it's like almost too dewy and not enough pigment. This is like the perfect combination of the right amount of dew and the right amount of color. So I have been really, really loving these. I've been wearing these a lot, like with just a little bit of faux freckles, some mascara, my brow flick, my brow gel, and then just like a little bit of gloss. And I feel so summery, springy, and glowy. And I absolutely love them. I'm wearing them on my cheeks right now. I have a combination of both of them on my cheeks, but I didn't apply too much. I wanted just like a subtle glow. But even then, like when you see my skin in person, it looks so glowy and fresh not patchy at all I, I really really love these blushes a lot and they're definitely a top favorite in April okay so I think I've mentioned Liss Beauty a couple times on social media I think mainly like on my stories and stuff but they're like an indie brand that I recently discovered and started following on Instagram and they were sending me stuff and I ended up liking a lot of their stuff especially their brushes I love their brushes so much not only because they're cute but because they're actually really really good the packaging is honestly just a bonus this this is my favorite brush they have and I don't even know <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's not labeled or anything. These are my two favorites, but I've been using this one for foundation every single day. And I know what you're thinking. Is it better than the It Cosmetics Love is a Foundation brush? No, but it's comparable. It's not exactly a dupe, but I feel like I get very, very similar results. I honestly love it almost just as much, which is incredible because I feel like I haven't found a foundation brush that gets close to it. And that Love is a Foundation brush only comes out once a year. And then I always feel bad about using it, but I have been loving this brush. If you've been wanting to test out the Love is the Foundation brush and you can just never get your hands on it, check out the List Beauty brushes. They're extremely soft, very similar to It Cosmetics, I feel like incredibly soft and feel very very high quality plus they're pink look at this cute little baby pink color adorable okay let's dive into the small little lip category I have here because I don't have much to talk about but the stuff I do have I really really love so Laneige recently came out with this brand new lip treatment balm and I have been obsessed with this mainly because I think it's such a freaking cute idea I love that the lip applicator comes directly like in the cap you just like And you don't have to dip your nasty little crusty fingers into the pot. I love that. You just take this little guy, dip it right into the product, and apply like that, and boom, no mess. I love that, and I just think it's like so unique and cool. 
kind of innovative. But besides that, the formula is actually really, really nice as well. It's not one that I use as like an overnight lip treatment. It's kind of one I use throughout the day because I just think like the sheer little shimmers are so pretty. It has like a very soft pink iridescence that you can't really see that much, but it does give your lips a little bit of something. Plus it's nice and thick, super, super hydrating, really moisturizing on the lips. The only thing I don't like is that I have to completely clean off the applicator before I shove it back in there because I'm, if not, I feel weird. So I just wipe it down on a napkin, not my sweatpants. <laughs> I wouldn't wipe out on my sweatpants, that's gross, that's gross. But anyway, just pop it back in and now, and you're good. I love it, it's the perfect little thing to just throw in your purse and yeah, thought I'd give it a little shout out. Okay, so I don't know how many of you guys actually read my description box whenever I post a video. Like I don't know if any of you guys are actually curious to see like what I'm wearing and then you go and check it because I always leave like what I'm wearing, my, my makeup, my clothes, my jewelry, my nail polish, everything, I always link it below in my little what I'm wearing section. But I don't think anybody really <laughs> looks at that. But if you're someone who does, you might have noticed that I've been wearing the Bobbi Brown Honey Lip lipstick a lot recently. It's honestly the lipstick I've been using like to top off most of my lip liners. I have really been liking the Jaclyn Cosmetic lip liners. I think they're really good. Of course my Alamar Cosmetics lip liners are Besitos. Pat McGrath, you already know, whatever lip liner I put on, I have been topping it off with Bobbi Brown Honey. In fact, today I'm wearing my Alamar Cosmetics birthday suit liner, my favorite liner they make. It's amazing, you need it. And then I wanted my lips just a little bit warmer than that lip liner, so I just grabbed my Bobbi Brown Honey lipstick and I just patted it right on top. And honestly, this is my favorite way to wear this lipstick. Very rarely do I like swipe it on my lips because I just love the effect it gives my lips when I like barely tap it, it kind of creates a nice satin finish because sometimes I just want to wear a lip liner and nothing else and I want like that full matte lip liner look but I'll just take this, lightly tap it in the middle and then it makes my lips look less dry, it gives it a little bit more of like a warm color and it also gives it a very 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 subtle shine. Obviously if I were like putting it on like this, it would be very shiny, very glossy because it is a more sheer lipstick, which you guys know has been my go-to for over a year. I prefer these creamy, shiny lipsticks. I'm not really into matte, matte lips anymore, so I do love that juiciness. The only thing, the only thing I don't like about this, and it's actually something I really, really don't like about this product, this packaging is awful. I, I freaking hate this packaging because if you notice, let me get closer. If you notice, there are two holes two holes on this product. And obviously when you stop, focus, and take a look at it, it's very clear that one has this little stopper here and one doesn't, okay? So, obvi ow. so obviously your lipstick goes in like this and then clicks. And then to take it out, you just push it on the other side and take it out like that. It's brilliant, fabulous. But I cannot tell you how many times I have accidentally shoved it into this side where this thing is. And then I'm like, oh crap, and I pull it out and my lipstick is all squished. That has happened so many times. And of course, that is my fault, absolutely. Pay attention, Kathleen, I know. But listen, I have a lot on my mind. I have a lot going on. I'm doing things very quickly. I close my lipsticks when I'm not looking. It's just like second nature. So I don't appreciate this type of lipstick technology, I gotta say. But besides that, it's great, love it. I'm actually gonna look through all of my lipsticks because I know for a fact that I have to have a dupe for that color somewhere in my collection. I know Bobbi Brown is like more pricey. So I do wanna find a dupe for that lipstick because I love it so much. I love the color and the shine. So I'm on the hunt, I'm on the hunt for a dupe. Besides Bobbi Brown Honey, I have been wearing my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme all month long. Ever since I bought this, I have been wearing it like everywhere I do go. I haven't been wearing it this one specifically. This is actually the new one I got in my Sephora haul. This is the Bee Sting version. They came out with like a limited edition Lip Injection Extreme. And of course I had to get it because I love the original so much. Which by the way, if you haven't seen my Sephora haul, I will link it down below. But I wanna be clear, this is not to be confused with like the original, original lip injection. This is the Lip Injection Extreme. So if you already thought that the original lip injection was a little bit too intense, you're gonna really think this one is way, way, way too intense. I already told you guys what happened to a friend of mine when she was at my house and she was testing this out. It was a little intense, a little intense. Extreme, you might say. No one told her to wipe it off and then rub it across her cheek. I mean, who takes off lip gloss like that? Honestly, as long as you're not putting it on your skin and you're just leaving it on your lips, it's fine. This is the best lip plumper I have ever, ever used. So many lip glosses claim to be lip plumping and I never really see a difference when I wear them. 
This makes my lips plump. Like it's a little painful, a little intense. I actually personally really like that feeling. It makes your lips a little bit red, but they just look so pouty and juicy and I freaking love it. And plus, that sensation goes away after like five minutes and then you have just like nice juicy plump lips. It's seriously so, so good. And this new one in Bee Sting smells incredible. Okay, so I haven't been wearing highlight all that much on my face anymore. I've just been kind of leaving the glow up to my blush and my setting spray and my bronzer. But whenever I have been wearing Wearing highlight on and off. I have been wearing the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Palette that has candlelight, sunlight, and blossom. It's extremely intense and extremely metallic, and usually I wouldn't go for a highlighter like this because I don't necessarily like a metallic stripe on my face. I like something that is a bit more wearable. But this is like metallic made wearable. Like there is a chunkiness to this when you put your finger in and you lift it up, you're like, holy crap, I've never seen anything so metallic in my entire life. That's gonna look crazy. But once you start to blend it on the skin and then you add setting spray, it gives you the most beautiful, intense, freaking glow ever in a very, very natural way. Like there's something about setting spray and this that it's just like a match made in heaven. Your face honestly looks wet and glossy. It is so, so pretty. And by the way, I'm specifically talking about this one in the middle, Sunlight. It is a stunning highlight. But if you're looking at this like, wow, Kathleen, I'm not gonna buy a whole freaking palette just to wear one shade. I get that and I honestly have been loving this palette for eyeshadows as well. This makes such a stunning inner corner highlight and this is a beautiful eyeshadow. I'm actually wearing them on my eyes right now. I have some matte shadows in my crease and on the outer corners, but I have this shade all over my lid. It is the most stunning lid shade ever. And then I have the pink in my inner corners and I just love like the combination of those two shades. So glowy and so beautiful, but can also be very, very intense. Just depends on how you wear it. So yeah, I have been really, really loving this. Okay. Guys, our Mas Cafe candles are finally back in stock. I wanna give a shout out to my favorite candle at the moment. This is the Lights Label Mas Cafe candle. And as you can imagine, oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like freaking coffee. It has a little bit of pistachio in there, coffee beans and some patchouli as well, but it's mainly just an aroma of intoxicating coffee. I'm obsessed with this and we were finally able to restock. Hopefully we still have some in stock by the time this video goes up over at lightslabel.com. We had a whole coffee collection that was so amazing. You guys loved it so much. We restocked everything. We have a beautiful nail polish trio that literally looks like coffee. It's, it's amazing. Definitely go check out the collection, but the candle is my favorite. It is so, so good. I cannot stop smelling it and I love it so much and I just had to mention it because it's back. And speaking of things that smell really good, my two must-have perfumes of the month are definitely these guys. I have been wearing them the most out of all my other perfumes, mainly this one. So I mentioned this in my um, perfume video that recently went up, but this is the Ellis Brooklyn Salt Perfume. And this was actually a recommendation from one of you guys. You commented on my video like, Kathleen, you need to try the salt perfume. You would absolutely love it. And you guys were absolutely right. Because it smells so incredible. I I can't even describe this perfume, but I honestly don't really have anything in my collection that smells quite like it. You know, it smells like how you would think it would smell when you think of a salt perfume. Like it's a bit beachy, a little sunscreeny, but it has like that musky floral scent to it as well. Like I smell some gardenia. I'm not sure if it's gardenia exactly, but it has like a really beautiful floral undertone and it's also kind of musky and warm. And when it just like warms up to your body, it smells so, so good. And it is the perfect scent for the springtime. I absolutely love it. This would also smell really good in the summertime as well. Really, really good. I love it. And then I have been keeping this one in my purse. This is from a brand called The Seven Virtues. And I also spoke about this very briefly in my um, perfume video. But this is their Vanilla Woods Perfume Oil. So this is a perfume oil, like I just said. So it's a bit thicker. It has more of that oily consistency. And I actually love mixing these two perfumes together because this one has a very similar, like, woodsy smell. I mean, they're they're totally different. This one's very much vanilla, but it has like that musky woody undertone. So the vanilla mixed with that, they just pair really well together. But I love that this is a perfume oil because it lasts a long time on the skin and it has a little rose quartz roller ball at the end of it. So when you're applying it on your skin, you know, you're rubbing in some good vibes and I'm all about that. You guys know I love crystals. I love the meaning behind it. And I, it's like the kind of perfume that just makes me happy. I love keeping it in my purse and rubbing it on from time to time. Like I like the experience of putting this perfume on. That may sound stupid, but 
It's true. And on the back of it, it says, best for alleviating stress, calming, soothing the overworked. I don't know, I just really love that. I think that's so cute and I have been enjoying the scent a lot. It's not too vanilla, it's like the perfect amount. This is random, I know, this is random but I gotta mention it. So I have recently fallen in love with the Venus Sensitive Skin, no, the Venus Ultra Smooth Sensitive Skin Razor, I believe. That's the name of this. I'm not exactly sure this is not sponsored or anything. I, I know it's random, but I have been shaving my bikini area with um, my husband's razor for like 100 years. Not like my actual husband's razor. Like we use the same one because Danny is bald, so he like shaves his head every single day. And he uses like the regular men Gillette razor, which is what I was using as well. I bought myself the same one because it's good. It's like amazing. But when it comes to shaving your private area, especially the bikini line, you know, it can get a little intense down there and sometimes you get razor bumps, pimples, and you know, it can be an ugly sight for sure. And I feel like it's something that a lot of us are really insecure about and no one really talks about. Like you see like these perfect bikini lines on Instagram. Listen, that's a smoothing filter. All right. It's a smoothing filter. I know a lot of us struggle with shaving the bikini area and we always want it to look as smooth and as clean and as perfect as possible. And I was always someone that struggled with that area because I would get a lot of razor bumps. When I switched over to the Venus Ultra Smooth Sense, I'm gonna put a picture of it right here because I can't remember the name off the top of the, my head. This was a razor that was recommended to me when I was talking to my friend about razor bumps. And she was like, after I switched to this, I've never gone back and I didn't think it was gonna make a huge difference because they're like both Gillette razors You know like it's that they have the same amount of blades They both have a little thingy around it Like I didn't think it was gonna make a huge difference But I found that it really really did and so I will not shave my cucaracha with anything besides My Venus ultra smooth sensitive skin razors And so I thought I'd let you know you know if you're having trouble with your Pikachu down there You got a lot of razor bumps get yourself this girl and I'm curious to know if you have like perfectly smooth bikini area as well, what do you use? Do you use this razor? Do you use another one? What are your bikini line secrets? The rest of us are dying to know. Leave it down below. <laughs> okay, we are almost done. I just have two more things to talk about. I wanna talk about my obsession with these sunglasses, okay? With this style of sunglasses that used to be super popular in the early 2000s and now they are back and better than ever. I'm trying to give you an angle where you don't see my ring light. <laughs> but these specifically, are, oh, they're kind of dirty. I wear these a lot. But these are the Sunnies from the brand Desi. These are Desi's sunglasses. And I believe this style is called the 2000s and I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with glasses like this. I want them in all colors and all shapes and sizes. I love how Y2K they are, which is so funny because when these glasses were popular, like when my older sister was wearing them and my mom was wearing them back in the 90s, I thought they were freaking hideous. I thought they looked ridiculous. And now here I am looking ridiculous as well. <laughs> Just kidding, I look freaking fabulous. And it's all thanks to these glasses. I also have these in this color as well. I'm not exactly sure what the actual name is, but these are like brown and this is like a rose color. Also really freaking stunning. I don't even know which ones I like more. I love them both so much. I even got these from like a vintage Instagram. That like, well, not a vintage, an Instagram that sells like old vintage designer sunglasses. And I don't really buy like designer stuff, but I fell in love with these sunglasses. They're Dior and they're a very similar style. They're just like smaller and I just had to have them. Like, are you kidding me? Just hand me my flip phone, girl. Give me them butterfly clips and my Motorola razor. And then my look is complete. But I also got these off of Amazon, which were way cheaper, very similar, and <laughs> way cheaper, did I mention? These were like $10 off of Amazon and they're cute as shit. I love them. They especially look nice like at the lake, at the pool, at the beach, okay? Check them out, you're gonna look freaking stunning this summer. I had to give these a shout out because I have been loving this style so much. Okay, and then last but not least, I wanna talk about a pair of sneakers that I have been loving so much ever since that day that I stepped on somebody's diabetes needle. I haven't really been wearing sandals all that much. Traumatized me a little bit. In fact, I don't think I've worn sandals since that day, out in public. I have actually become sneaker obsessed since that moment. That incident unlocked a whole new obsession that I didn't know I had, um, which is sneakers. And so I have a sneaker to talk about today that I have been loving so, 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 so much. And it is the Reebok Classic. Actually, what, yeah, the Reebok Classic Vintage Sneaker, I believe is the name of this. I will link it down below for you guys for sure. But I got these off of the Reebok website. I had been waiting forever for these to come back in stock because they were sold out everywhere. Urban Outfitters, Macy's, I tried everywhere and they finally came back and I'm obsessed with them. I love them 
so so much i just love this green color there's something about this green shade that just does things to me i gotta say and they're just so pretty i love that they have this like unique little like almost blue tint to them they're not 100 percent cream they have a little bit of a tint to them which i really really like it kind of makes them look like old and vintage which is my favorite part i love that they're not like solid white or anything like that they just totally complete your look you can wear them with jeans or biker shorts like big baggy band t-shirts i don't know i feel like these shoes look good with absolutely everything and before i bought these green ones like before the green ones came back in stock i had been using and abusing and loving the these <laughs> which are very very similar i think they're called the exact same only these have a little blue reebok as you can see instead of green these are like a baby blue but the tint on this one is a little bit more yellow cream versus the tint on these i'm not sure if you can tell oh man i don't think that's picking up on camera at all in fact these shoes are looking really washed out but yeah i love them both i just love the green ones a little bit more because i'm obsessed with that color green but these are also really really cute too i wear them all the freaking time and yeah i just thought i'd uh, give them a shout out definitely check them out they're fabulous and yeah guys uh, that completes this video these were all the products i was absolutely loving in the month of april don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product of the month was and if i haven't checked it out i definitely will i absolutely love your recommendations clearly they make them to my favorites all the time so leave them down below but yeah guys that completes this video i love you guys so 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 much thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye